Uh, welcome to our second annual uh, Frontiers in Biomedical Science Symposium. With that, 200 scientists and students from around the country met on the Sanford Burnham Orlando campus to share the latest scientific discoveries relevant to metabolic diseases. It's a very high quality uh, symposium, you know, starting with our uh, keynote speaker, David Botstein, a, a lifelong uh, frontline major contributor to the field of genetics. It's just wonderful. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for a lot of us to be able to meet these scientists um, because they just are so world renowned and you know they're so in demand at, at other conferences. But it's meetings like this that today will help us develop that national network of collaborators and by extension critics who will help us do better science uh, because they bring us a fresh perspective. Speakers offered their view on the future of metabolic research. The big thing in metabolism research, you know, everything sort of has its time. So when the genome sequences came out, uh, it became possible to follow all the genes at once. And we're moving in on being able to follow all the metabolites at once. And that combination should be very powerful. We're really looking uh, for new mechanisms and have several in, in queue that can focus not only on glucose lowering for patients with diabetes, but also on addressing some of their unmet needs regarding cardiovascular risk or the, the obesity that's, that's ubiquitous. What no one can predict on that horizon is what form cardiac repair will take. Will it be proteins that the stem cells make or will it be what some people would consider to be the holy grail, uh, a small molecule or a protein that would activate the stem cells that reside within the heart to activate cardiac self-repair in a more effective way than takes place under unassisted circumstances. One of the great things about symposia like this is the educational opportunity it gives to our young trainees, postdoctoral fellows, graduate students, to not only hear and see some of the world's greatest scientists, but to meet face to face with some of the great scientists who we bring in from around the world. And it gives them a chance to, to have one-on-one -on -one dialogue with them, to meet them in person, to exchange ideas with them. And it's just so stimulating for all of us, including the students, that we hope a symposium like this will further solidify their commitment to careers in science.